Welcome back, pest collector. Today's video is gonna be a fun one. I do have a pretty messy studio table here because of the live stream that we do on Saturday. So it's still a mess from that. So I need to put some of these pets away. I'm gonna add some to the shelf, maybe take some downstairs to the main display. But I also wanted to work on seeing if I can fix up this goofy pez. It's seen better days. <laughs> but we did buy some donor parts on eBay. So I'm gonna look into fixing this up. I wanna put this in my office up by my Disney poster. Let me show you. <laughs> Here's my office. It's a little messy because I am working on the Smurfs video. I have all my Smurfs pets sitting out trying to figure out what ones I still need. And here on the wall is my giant Disney poster. And on the poster, there's the Goofy with the purple stem, Donald with the blue stem, and a Mickey with a red stem, which I found Mickey with a red stem with a little bit of searching. That one is a little harder to find than the yellow stem variations. And then the Donald on the blue stem, that's a pretty basic one. But this Goofy on a purple stem, hardest one to find. This is the nicest one. <laughs> this is the only one I've been able to find since for a year after having this poster. I got it for my birthday last December, so it's been a little over a year even. But above the poster up here, that's where I like to keep some of the pez up. You see in the poster, I think that's kind of fun. So I want to add Goofy up there. <laughs> I think let's go clean Goofy up. Hopefully take the parts off of that other one. Oh, I did get this fun little lunchbox a couple weeks ago in the live stream and I added all of my fun stuff to it. So this sits back here. I'll show you when I'm done here. I do have some shoes. Like This is my shoe box. <laughs> all kinds of shoes. Never know what kind of shoes you're gonna need. Also some extra stuff like uh, I don't know. <laughs> some of these little extra bags that come in handy to store stuff in. I do have a couple of these I need to still probably do something with. You put these in your Pez and then they hold them up. So I need to find, I have a Wonder Woman Pez I need to look for. I keep forgetting to do that. Oh, and I also have some cleaning stuff in here, like some Q-tips. I'm gonna need those for you. And we're gonna need some shoes here. So I usually have a box up here, but it's not a pest box. But I got this one because it looks better in the studio setting behind me. This one's from Japan. It's super cute. <laughs> so I thought, keep it down here. When you see behind me, you don't always see it, but sometimes you do. <laughs> and it's, is that it? It's right here. <laughs> Yeah, you, know, you might see it in some of my videos if you look hard enough. <laughs> Just trying to keep it more Pez themed. Because usually I have a box and it's jammed behind this advent calendar. Wish you don't see it, but I think this is way cooler. Okay, let's put all these Pez back away. So if you don't watch our live streams, Greg, my husband, joins us. And we unbox all the Pez that we buy during the week, during the live stream. Turn this around really slow. <laughs> so all these Pez are new. This one's not in there, but this one's new, and Greg bought this on eBay. It's got cracks in it that you couldn't tell in the listing, and I did go back and look, and the spring <laughs> was like this in the listing, so hopefully we can salvage it and reuse the head on a different stem, because it's, it's not, it's not good. <laughs> Oh, I bought this last week. I need to clean it. It needs a good like stim clean because it looks not very good. So I'm gonna clean this one up too. Maybe I'll do that really quick in the video too. Patty just sent me some press pennies. Oh, are super cool. And this orange and she got my dad a set, which dad, if you're watching, these are for you. <laughs> I'm sure I'll see you soon. It is tax season and he is a CPA, so. <laughs> I'll probably finally get to see you in a few days after April 15th. Also, Patty sent me these heads with the body parts. This is supposed to be Greg. <laughs> and then this is not me, but she put a panda in. She gave me the body parts, that's what she made. And in the video that she made, she had a Pez girl in it. So I don't know if I'm gonna swap it out with the Pez girl. I kinda like the panda. <laughs> oh, 
lot. But it has the Aaron Clux Puzz t-shirt on it, which is super cool. And then this is uh, Paul Jr. from the Orange County Choppers. One of the first human Pez dispensers that Pez made after a long time. So this is kind of cool. He has <laughs> the Aaron Clux Puzz t-shirt on as well, but his is more just a square on the red shirt. <laughs> but Patty sent me these, so check out her video. I'll link it down below in the description if you want to see these two Pez in the video. It's really fun to stop motion Pez video. And it's like a little parody of Aaron Clicks Pez. So I thought that was really fun. <laughs> she also sent me the background. This is the giant Pez display. Oh, I can't see this one more hand. <laughs> this is my giant Pez display picture of it. So if you watch the video, this will make more sense. I need to figure out a way that I can build the little set here and maybe add it to my shelf over there. I think that'll be really fun, so I'll probably be doing that really soon here too. <laughs> oh, I also got this really fun Pluto Pez on the live stream, and it has two vintage stickers on it instead of just one, but also some kid probably stuck these stickers on, which makes it even cooler. <laughs> I also got this really cool Duro Pal. This is a cool cat. And Durapel Pez because it's the Durapel plastic, which is a little bit more brittle, so Pez never really like went through production on these. So there's not many of these that exist out in the Pez world. <laughs> but I also have an orange one that has the MMM penguin on it. And if you watched my top Pez I bought in 2023 video, you'll see that I have a panda on a Durapel stem as well. So I have three in my collection now. Which these are really cool because they're kind of like translucent, a little bit transparent. You can kind of see the spring in there and they kind of glow under the light, which really cool. This one usually sits behind me and this one I need to add to my shelf. I don't know if I'm going to add it <laughs> in my cool cat area. Maybe I should for a little bit. This is supposed to be me and my cool cats. <laughs> the broken octopus, sad day. And then the Donkey Kong Monkey Sailor Pez, which is really cool. It is pretty much the same as a Donkey Kong Pez, it just has the little J up there on its hat for Junior. Which the story goes on these is no one really knows 100% sure if Pez made these. But it does have like a little sticker on it with the J. Oh and this Monkey Sailor, another new one. This one is a USA stem Monkey Sailor and it's a bright yellow stem. It looks so good. <laughs> Let's add this one up here with these other monkey sailors. I have two USA monkey sailors and one regular. I have another monkey sailor or two down in the display already, but those are up here. Oh, this one needs some shoes. Was able to put some shoes on here, so that's good, I think. So you took your spot. <laughs> Usually keep this one up here in the Duro Pal because it like glows. You know the lights? It's so cool. And I did get these bath salts a couple weeks ago here on the live stream as well. And I did have this older bath salt bottle. So if you want to see like a size comparison, like if you have some of these older ones, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Greg's been wanting to buy more of these long chin clowns, <laughs> which they are pretty cute. The more we get, I think the better they look because they always look really good next to each other with all the different colors. So far we have like yellow and green, like green hat, yellow nose, yellow hats, and then green noses and different colored stems. Now we have a orange hat, which is harder to find, and then the blue stem. Oh no. I don't, this one doesn't fit. It doesn't fit. <laughs> put you up front and then I can see that, that you have a little J on your hat. It's so cute. Oh and then this, should I put this one down here? Maybe I'll put them down here for a little bit. This stand is pretty cool because it holds a lot of Pez. <laughs> Q. 
Can you tell I like cool, cool cats? Wait. Is that butter? Put her on white. <laughs> there you go. This is the shelf next to me with my bookcase that we built. Super cool. Now I have four cool cat pets without feet. I do have one with feet down on the main display, but these, they don't have feet, so I keep them up here, at least for now. All three of these here with the regular green stem, there's something different about them, so that's why I have all these variations. But I do have a spot for one more. <laughs> Keep that there. Well, I also got this cool candy pet from Patty Thomas as well. Thanks, Patty. <laughs> and I'm gonna keep these. Uh, I'm gonna keep these here for now because I want to build the little set for them. I think it'll help remind me. Also, the panda hands, <laughs> silver hands. Nice. Okay. Oh, we got this box too, which is really cool. Wait, where's the Muppets one? We got a Muppets one. What's over here? I want to start building a, a Muppets box. I already have a bunch of Muppets Pez in their poly bags, so I need to see if those are the ones that go in this box. I'm hoping that they do. Extra boxes. Usually save some boxes that we get for when I sell Pez. see gross stuff look at your pez under your magnifying glass like looking at it like this you know you can see it's dirty but looking at it under here it's disgusting <laughs> okay these teeth look to be exactly identical i kind of feel like just popping this head off and putting this head on because i'm pretty sure that identical because this head is so gross but this the eyes on this one still aren't very good like they're painted there but they don't look the best and the nose is missing the paint i think i'm just gonna clean this one up and call it good for now hold on so here's the goofy pads i'm gonna clean and get an up close look at it here do we need a light <laughs> oh okay Really gross, really gross. Really gross. And here's the donor parts. So I'm gonna use a tooth. This one's missing the tooth completely and I kind of feel that it's up in there, which I'm a little nervous about. Which if it is, I might have to just get a new head and replace this head. But for now I'm gonna clean it up and see what I can do with it. And then here is a donor ear. So this one came not on top of the stem, but this sleeve in here is yellow, which is weird. It's like a weird color combination. This is broke. No one can use this sleeve, so I just bought it for the parts. And I did bring up some soapy water and some plain water and then a bowl. Oh, I forgot to grab it. Clean supplies in the bathroom here. <laughs> Wait, have I ever showed you my Pez bathroom? <laughs> printed out this ghost picture. There's a glare on it around Halloween last year. And then in this little cabinet here above it, there's Pez in the little cabinet area. And then sometimes I have Pez towels out. This is rubbing alcohol. So usually I put it on the Pez when they're really dirty like this. Usually you don't need a whole lot. Buy a bottle like this and it'll last you a while. <laughs> And since this Pez is so gross, I did bring up some gloves because it's grossing me out, really. It's all fine. It's just really gross. Like, this has to be one of the grossest Pez I've seen. <laughs> we get some dirty Pez here and there. This one's pretty gross. We're going to need a lot of these uh, <laughs> Q-tips. I call them cotton picks. That's my thing. <laughs> I'm just going to use some of this rubbing alcohol and then... Wipe the whole Pez down. Ew. <laughs> I don't 
know where this thing was at its whole life, but somewhere disgusting. When you use rubbing alcohol on your pez, just make sure you don't get it on the paint and you'll be fine. This one doesn't have a lot of paint, just the nose and the eyes. I don't want this to be the main focus of my video today, so I'm gonna hurry up and clean it. I should mention that this goofy pet is, is hard to find because it is on this USA lavender stem, which the Disney Pez, a lot of them came on a lot of different USA color variations of stems like uh, blue and green and red, lavender, and uh, I think yellow. To find these lavender ones, especially this goofy on lavender, it seems really, really hard. That's why I'm like, got this nasty one to clean up. Cause I really, really want one. And they're so hard to find that you just have to kind of take what you can get for now. Till a better one comes along. I mean, it's missing an ear and the tooth is, I think, jammed up in there, which I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get the tooth out, but at least it's gonna be clean and hopefully have a new ear. It already looks so much better. Just a little bit of time spent on it. I'm just being really careful cause I don't wanna get the eyes or the nose. And the, even the tooth is like nasty. Get out the mat. The fine glass. <laughs> Okay, it looks a lot better than it did, I will say that. Put a little bit more water on its hat. It's like the spots I can't scrub. Its tooth has like a little nub in there or it broke off. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to replace that. I might have to just get a new head for this thing. Oh yeah, it's so much better already. Using the magnifying glass to get the really gross stuff off of there. That already looks so good. <laughs> I'm gonna have to see if I can get like a, some tweezers or something and pull out the tooth. <laughs> Sounds really gross. Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fix this one. The teeth have to be pulled out and you can't see up in here. Like in order to take the teeth out from the inside you have to pull the whole head apart in half. Okay so here's the goofy after I scrubbed it. Scrubbed it, cleaned it, wiped it. <laughs> it looks a lot better. But I don't know if you can see but up in that tooth hole there there's a little white nub still from the tooth and this tooth over here looks like it's seen better days too <laughs> it looks gross i don't know if i can get this little nub out i might try to replace both but at least i could put an ear on and he is a lot cleaner looks really good i'm not as grossed out to touch it now <laughs> we do have some tools let's see if we have one that might grab the tooth I think these are like little tweezers. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna be able to pull it out anyway. <laughs> I took off the ear. Let's see if I can get the ear on. Okay, that pops right on. Maybe he just one too goofy. <laughs> okay, he's got two ears now and he's clean. I could soak it in some hot water. Maybe it would pop out easier. To get this other one out, it's gonna be really, really hard. Like, I didn't realize it was in there that far. Maybe I can just keep like working at it and like dig the plastic out of there. But I'm not even sure if I'll be able to even get a, the tooth out of here. Like, it feels like it's glued in there. I might have to uh, just find another head. At least it looks a lot better. I don't know. I'm gonna maybe show Greg and see what he says about it. He might have an idea on how to get that plastic out of there. Need some shoes? Oh, okay. I have some red shoes here. I'm gonna put those on them for now. Okay, now I just made a huge mess. Let's go show Greg. Hopefully he's not on a call. What do you think, Greg? Yeah, can you push the, <laughs> can you push that peg inside the bed? I don't know, I tried pulling it out. Should I try pushing it in more? The problem is I don't know if I can even get the tooth out of the other goofy head. It doesn't look better. Like I yeah, scrubbed it. That tooth looks glued in. Yeah, like it looks like it has like yellow junk on it, like the glue going out. Yeah, it looks pretty good. <laughs> good enough. <laughs> Alexa, basement lights on. Here's the big Pez display. But over here, bar area update. I've gotten lots of boxes over the holiday <laughs> from Easter. My aunt works at Target, so she got me a lot of these boxes. I grabbed uh, this one here on my own, which she put the pipe tubes in. But all these other ones she got me from uh, Target. 
Target. But somehow she always has a bunch and she's like, do I want them? And I'm like, yes. Because <laughs> these work really well if you have carded pez you want to save. If you put your carded pez in and you can put them in totes like this. So it's very helpful for like storage. I just need to figure out what to do with these. I do have a few extra ones. And then this, I really want to put some of my tube pens in here and display them somehow. I think that would be really cool. I don't actually have any boxes like this already in the collection. So I thought that was really cool to pick up. I know there's some Muppets pens around here. I need to figure out if these are the Muppets that go in that Muppets box. Let me start researching that. Did you know, if you have a complete Muppets box that has that same header card, it's probably these because it's like a 90s but let me know what you have in your collection. Foxy! Hey, come here! Come here! Let's get your fleas! <laughs> so, yikes. <laughs> you clean up the desk real quick. clean this one off real quick too. This one has a lot more paint on its head so I have to be a lot more careful with this one. But why I have this stuff up here, I'm going to wipe it off real quick because especially the stem it just doesn't look right. I did not have that like plastic shine to it. I don't know if someone tried to already rub it too much. I'm hoping that it's just dirty. It looks like it might just be dirt. It already <laughs> looks so much better. I think it was just like filthy. Put a little soapy water on its head. You got to clean out the eye socket in the ear. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, this thing is cleaning up really nice. Okay, its head is disgusting. <laughs> Why did I look? Okay. Okay, it's really hard to clean around the paint. So this is a USA stem, so it's black. So I don't want to mess this pez up. I might try a little soapy water and get it under here. I need something that like has a big giant magnifying and a, and a light because it would really help see the pez. Because you can't see the dirt until you get in here. I don't want to mess up its little teeth though. Well, there you go. It looks way better. Like it had some kind of dirt or something caked on it. Let's get it some shoes and add it to the shelf. Oh, this should go downstairs. I also have the, this has a USA stem pilot. It's missing the button. Which we did get a new button for this. I could put it in. Oh, look at that. <laughs> you can clean it out really well when they're apart. I mean, you can take your pez apart, but it's easier just to clean them and let them be. Because once you start popping these old plastic pieces apart, you don't know if you're going to break it or what. This one's already apart, so I might as well clean it really well. It didn't look too bad. But, you know, I didn't check it. <laughs> yeah, this one actually looks pretty good. I don't know, whoever we bought this from, they must have cleaned it up. Okay, let that dry. Check out the head. This actually looks really clean. Like, eh. We do have some buttons that we got. And the USA button, I'm pretty sure, is supposed to be this one. Yeah, someone's hair. <laughs> Not mine. It's this white one. It's like an off-white now that it's old. That, and then also have a Hulk that I'm gonna just take this out. So basically you just stick something in here like, you can use one of these. You just need something to take the button out, which you take the button out by just popping it like sideways. It should just pop out. Okay, uh-oh. <laughs> so there you go. There the button in the spring. If you kind of push it down in the back, it kind of makes the button wonky and then it kind of just pops out. So this is the spring. This is what makes the Pez head go up and down. So you take your Pez, it's easier to put these back in, and then you take your spring and pop it in here. And then you want to slide it very carefully. Typically you can find Pez with these flipped either way because they're flat. There's like not 
a big like groove or area back here like on either one so made in usa could go on this side or this side but all my other ones i have are on this left side so i'm gonna slide that back in pop the button back in you gotta push the spring down but it kind of just pops in on its own well my uh, battery died in my camera it took too long but i did get the pilot working i got the button in kind of just have to like pop it in sideways and it kind of just like lines up with the back of the sleeve there like there's a hole going up the whole sleeve that one side of the button pops in another side of the button kind of lines up with this front part here it kind of just like holds the spring in. now somehow it just works i don't know <laughs> can't think about it too much it's pretty simple if i can do it you can fix them so now we have a really nice USA stem pilot. The head is a little, it opens up when you push it back, but that's because the head is super heavy. <laughs> but this one actually is like really tight head. So this is a really nice Pez. So it was really nice that we were able to fix it. And now it has the white button in there. So some of my other USA Pez, they do have red buttons. Let's, let's look up here. That one's got a off white one in there that's a usa stem this is not a usa stem it has a red button but these other two blue ones that one's got a red button this one has the white off white button but these are both usa pez stems but the weird thing is that they have two different head colors which i'm not 100 percent sure that one of these might not be legit might be a swap someone put a usa stem on one of these to sell it for more but I don't know. That's just my experience in, in buying these. I do have a bunch of USA Pez over here, so we could look at a couple of these even. This one has red button. This one has a red button. Maybe we should have put a red button in it. <laughs> Let's put this one. I'm going to be back here for a while so I can enjoy it. Yeah, look at that. So these are all like the human Pez. <laughs> these are supposed to be the bicentennial because I am missing the wounded soldier like I talked about before, but put the pilot there because it kind of goes with the humans. And then let's go put Goofy in this spot and then I'll work on figuring out the little tooth. Oh, can I even reach it? <laughs> Can you even see? You can't see from the ground here if it even is missing a tooth. I mean, you kind of can't tell, but... <laughs> awesome. So cool. Okay, so I'm gonna work on that tooth, but for now it's got its little spot. And I took Donald down up there. Got 3.4 Austria. I'm gonna take this one and put it down in the main Disney display. I think it looked cool down there too. And also, we could take this one down. I feel kind of bad destroying the Hulk pads, but it's not any good. <laughs> oh, I could put this one in my studio too. I don't know, there's not much room left up there on the Disney shelf unless I move something. I might just put it here for now so I can look at it. I think it's super cool. <laughs> A little bit. Oh, that's got to be super cool. Okay, let's take these down. And over here we have the vintage Halloween. <laughs> so this is an orange head. I'm gonna move that one down. Put this one. So now we have here's a lavender one. This is an, a nicer lavender USA Pez <laughs> than my goofy. So that's cool. Got that one. I've had this one in my collection for Ever, it's a USA orange stem and then this is the one I just brought down the black USA and then we have this one which is like a grayish purple color on a green stem you've seen this one in my video before some of these other ones you've seen in videos before too but this one for sure because it's the same one that's in my Pez sales sheet the Halloween one that I used to have hanging in my office it's still in my office but it's not hanging up right now that one has a white eye and these all three have green eyes and then, if you hear any wind noises, it's just Roxy. <laughs> Over here is the 
Disney display. The vintage. Most of them have no feet. A few of them in here have feet. Thin feet. Has to have a has to be a rule about it, because I don't want just newer Disney Pez in here. Man, this thing looks really red now that I got it down here. I thought it was orange. <laughs> but uh, I need to rearrange these, because these are getting out of control. Do I just put it up here with Pluto? <laughs> okay, let's just close the door real quick. And walk away. Roxy, help! <laughs> Hopefully enjoying the video today. I needed to get some Pez organization done and cleaning up that Goofy Pet or yeah, Goofy Pez. <laughs> I always want to call it Pluto, like Greg. I had to clean up my Goofy Pez and fix it up. It's almost there. Hopefully someday it will be perfect. And I would say that if you are swapping around any parts or changing anything on Pez, just do some research and make sure that you have the right parts that you're swapping out or back on. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, make sure you're making legit Pez combinations and not just picking up weird stuff because eventually it will go back into someone else's collection. It's better to have what you think is correct versus just putting together some pieces just because that's what you have. I don't like that, so that's my disclaimer for the video. <laughs> Everything you saw me do today, swapping the parts, should have been, you know, exact swaps. I did a lot of research on all these, so hopefully they are 100% correct now. Roxy, look! They subscribe to the channel if they want to learn more about pest collecting. Heck yeah! <laughs> Roxy's glad that I'm not in the studio talking to myself anymore. <laughs> As always, thanks for watching. And if you want to learn more about pest collecting, check out one of these two videos here above me. And uh, I'll see you Thursday. Bye!